So as most of you guys probably already know, Leslie and Russell, Allie's parents, they went to Florida and we went with them if you guys caught that video. But when they left, they left a couple of things here at their house uh, not exactly tidied up. So we came down here to kind of straighten some things up for them and I wanted to take a minute out of today's video to let you guys know it's sponsored by Helix. Helix actually makes this mattress that they absolutely love, that they have been using for the past couple months. Our grandparents have had theirs for about a year and we asked them just last week if they're still enjoying it and they said, you couldn't pry that mattress away from me. Helix is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses to fit your unique needs and preferences with a short online quiz that matches you with the perfect firmness for your body and offers a 100 night sleep trial and a 10 year warranty. The best part is Helix delivers right to your door and is super easy to set up. Our grandparents have been using the Twilight and my parents love their Dawn Lux. Their back aches are totally gone with Helix Mattress's targeted zoned lumbar support to help with spine alignment and back pressure relief. So if you guys are in the market for a really high quality mattress, we absolutely love Helix and we highly recommend them. Also, if you guys check out their link right now, you can click the link in our description or you can go to helixsleep.com slash Trent and Allie. You can get up to $200 off plus two free pillows. I wanted to say thanks to Helix for sponsoring today's video. I feel like I'm ready to lay down and take a nap and we'll see you guys in the morning. What's up guys and good morning. We have got a lot of work ahead of us today. We also have some good news, we have some bad news. And uh, hopefully today is gonna be a good day. All right, so if you guys remember in our last episode, we dug up the yard hydrant, we moved it, we replaced the broken part of the yard hydrant, we extended the line, and then uh, I actually clipped the three-quarter line that's gonna be the main water supply for the garage with the mini excavator. So after we you know, charged up both lines, it seemed like nothing was leaking. And then later that night, it seemed like there was some water in the hole. Maybe that's just a little bit of groundwater or maybe you know, it was like some water from the stop and waste on the yard hydrant. Because the way a yard hydrant works is when you open that, the valve is actually down at the very bottom. And then when you shut it off, all the water that's in the yard hydrant drains out the bottom. So I thought maybe that's just some of that water. A little while went by and uh, the water was rising. So one of these pipes has a break in it, it is leaking. And so, but yesterday I actually came out with the shop vac. I shop vac all the water out of the bottom of this, this pit. And uh, then shortly after that, there's a little bit of water in it. Now, this morning, there's a lot of water in there. Unfortunately, one of these lines is leaking and I'm pretty sure it's the one inch line, the line that is uh, going to the yard hydrant. So <sighs> that's bad news because obviously we don't want to have a leak here, um, but it's not horrible news because we do have to dig this up to do the footings for this side of the garage anyways. But now we've also got to dig this up and figure out where that leak is. But I don't think we're gonna do it today. Today, we've got to start working on the septic line. How are we doing this morning, my little family? Oh, it's chaotic, but it's good. How about you, Joel? Doing pretty good. Yes, Joel is just on his phone again, trust me. We try to get him off of it, but He's a nothing, nothing coming between that boy and his phone. It's pretty normal for a teenager. I don't think anybody's that upset about it. All right, so I went ahead and moved the mini excavator over by the septic tank. We're gonna start at the septic tank and we're gonna start digging up and trenching next to the septic line. Um, today needs to be very slow, very careful. There's a gas line, there's electrical line, everything all in the same trench. <sighs> Today's gonna be stressful, that's all. So basically now Trent is hand digging at the edge of the septic tank to try to find the lines that are going into the tank so that we can at least know where they are and then he can use the machine next to those lines and hopefully not destroy those lines in the process. So any minute now. Uncovering buried treasure. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Pretty much. 
<laughs> Said the treasure is it proof. Doesn't smell good. Yeah. Found it. I think we have some leaking sewage here. First off, this pipe is like going straight down. I would say one of our biggest issues is that this line runs so close to the propane tank. To the propane tank that if we dig a big trench right next to the propane tank, it's heavy enough that if that wall sloughs and the tank falls in there, we could be in big, big trouble. Yeah. So you gotta be really careful. problems here <clears throat> one this machine is like very light and very the bucket like outweighs the machine almost and so if I'm like on this angle and I'm trying to take a huge scoop of dirt out the machine like wants to tip over instead of pulling the dirt out of the hole the second problem is that I'm not like an expert with this machine yet and uh, I can't go quickly because I'll break something if I go quickly so we're gonna be here for at least like three or four weeks. Oh, which is fine. I don't think it'll take that long. Better not, but it's probably gonna take at least a week, so okay. better get back to work. Yeah, that septic line's broken, I think. Call me out, tiger. Call me out, why don't you? Lift me up higher Above the clouds, won't you love? When the scenery is right Go right in I want to fall deep within Good, okay, right there He's not touching, right? All right, we were making very slow progress trying to hand dig and not nick the line. So Trent is coming over here with the machine and trying to scoop away from the line, but you know, kind of close enough that we could maybe start to see the direction the line is moving in without nicking it also. Very stressful. <laughs> this whole thing needs to be dug up anyway because the septic lines are in a trench somewhere in this area. They're also in a trench with this propane line. Power. And our power. So we've got septic, propane, and electricity all in the same trench. Excellent. Yeah. Is it raining? And it's starting to rain. Not that old yet I'm Friday Friday young to not stand my ground. Oh wait, we can't do this. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> A for effort though, you know? <laughs> So we haven't found the line yet. We're continuing to dig and we're starting to try to dig a little bit shallower over this direction because the deeper we dig on this direction, the closer it gets to the propane tank. And that's a thousand gallon propane tank. That's probably about 80% full. They just refilled it. It's probably a couple thousand pounds and the ground is uh, solid for now, but the closer we get to it, the less solid it becomes. We do not want that to roll onto anybody, obviously, or into the ditch. Um, Basically, that would be worst case scenario that could cause enormous, expensive, permanent problems for us. Um, so we're trying to go slow, like I said. Hopefully we find this pipe soon. This is stressful. Very stressful. And from here on out, there's gas and electrical in the line or in the trench with the sewer pipe. That's that's the worst part. But 
as soon as we find them, then we'll kind of know where they are and we can dig next to them. Right now is the worst part because we don't know where anything is and we're just trying to find them without cutting or nicking or pulling or scraping them. Um, and I'm really worried about this propane tank rolling into this trench. Well, I was afraid this would happen. And uh, I think you're gonna have to call Hone, have them come drain this tank. Mm. And then we're gonna have to call the crane company and have them come move it. In order to dig this up, the propane tank is getting more and more unstable. And there are cracks forming under the feet of the propane tank where it looks like it's pretty inevitable that this is going to roll over. And we have no way to pick it back up. So is there any way to brace or strap the tank to some higher point? Can we pull a truck up here or something? Can we do anything besides drain and move it? I don't think so. This thing weighs as much as a truck. That's not really an option. Got it. We struck gold. Where is it? Oh, wow, good eye. Right there. Break it? I don't think so. Septic line supposed to be on a bed of gravel? It's supposed to be. You don't think the machine can fit in here? Well, it's gonna be on a slant. Yeah. It's not really any way to do that. Oh boy. So get this wall out of the way and then kind of scrape this hill where it's flat. All right, dogs, out of the way, let's go. Work in progress, guys. It's okay. <laughs> what would it take for you to leave your phone in the truck for one full day? We can make that happen. Tent me. That's easy. Talk to him about that. <laughs> I'll give you lunch in exchange for leaving your phone in the car. I'm okay with that. Okay. Well, then he can't check the clock. That's true. We'll just tell him it's 9.30 every time he asks. Yeah. Oh, it's 9.45 now. Yeah. <laughs> We found the gas line and uh, we found it by breaking it, which is not ideal, but we've got about half an hour left in the day and uh, we're probably gonna have to send you to Home Depot to get some parts okay. and we're gonna have to dig this up. Okay. We prepared for this uh, outcome, so we have a solution in place and I think we'll be able to fix it by the end of today. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. Good. Success? Yeah. Alright, cool. Thanks for your help. What's up guys and good morning. Lika, go inside. There's a moose out here. You can't be out here right now. Ah. Uh, Today's gonna be a good day, I can already tell. Uh, yesterday, I had something very funny happen. If you look down here, I have holes in each knee, and now I have hole-shaped sunburns on each knee. It's absolutely atrocious. I had no idea that I was gonna get sunburned through the holes in my pants, but just the way the cookie crumbled yesterday. So Allie went and got our little coupling to put the gas line back together yesterday and it was like $50 and then when she showed up We needed special tools to use that type of coupling So we didn't end up using it. We're just gonna have her return it 
Today, uh, on the way in, I had Brandon stop at Home Depot. I had him get some extra gas pipe in case we needed it. A couple couplings because at Home Depot, they're like $20. At this other place, they were like $50. It's crazy. So we're going to use the $20 ones. And uh, we're going to go down now and try and connect the gas line and turn the propane tank back on and see if there's any other leaks. Hopefully that one spot that I severed the line is the only place that I've actually done some damage. I will have to say though, when I was doing, uh, you know, drain cleaning and, and plumbing and stuff when I was younger and I was doing excavations like this where I was digging up sewer lines and replacing them, I broke a gas line once and it was like a city gas line and it's massive and it has a ton of pressure. And when you break that, you have to wait for the gas company to come and like shut their whole manifold down for like the neighborhood that you're in. And so when I broke it, it was just, just spraying gas forever. And I like called my boss and I was like, what do I do? And he was like, he was like, jump down in there and kink the line. And I was like, kink the line. He's like, yeah, just like a hose, just get down in there and bend the end over and like tape it up or something. So me being like 20 years old, jump down in this like 10 foot deep hole that had been leaking propane for like the last 10 minutes. So my guess is there was probably zero oxygen in there, just all propane, but I like jumped down in there, kinked the line, taped it up, had it all sealed up, climbed out of the hole and everything was great. But now that I think about that, I'm like, I could have jumped down in that hole and like passed out and died. I did it because I listened to my boss. I don't know. Anyway, I'm glad we didn't have to do that here. We were able to just shut off the propane tank, but we're gonna go down, try and get this line fixed. Hopefully it works because we haven't had hot water since yesterday. And if we can get this reconnected, it will restore our hot water and Allie will be very happy. This is the wrong size. What? Ex Expecting this line to be one inch because it looks like one inch But I think it's three-quarter because Brandon got some one inch stuff this morning and some one inch pipe And just by looking at the two pipes. I can tell that this stuff is definitely at least three-quarter Looks like it could even be half inch, but I think it's three-quarter uh, So we're not gonna make any progress on connecting the uh, propane line right now But as soon as uh, Dana shows up to take care of Leo Allie's gonna run to Home Depot, exchange these for three quarter couplings and three quarter line instead of one inch. And then we'll try and connect this. But until then, Brandon and I are gonna get back to digging. Suddenly, the world I used to know, I see it differently. You woke me from a dream, now here's reality. Baby, baby, you are really hurting me. <sighs> Guess what? It's the wrong size pipe. What? The stuff Brandon got. No! Yeah, so as soon as Dana shows up, you're gonna have to go trade these things he's got. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. You can fix it, you just need the right size. Yes. And that's, then it's fine. And hopefully we'll have hot water by then. Got our fingers crossed. <laughs> well, that's a bummer that we don't have the right coupling, but at least there is a solution and it looks like there's one in stock in Salt Lake City, so I'll just go run some errands once Dana gets here. In the meantime, it's a beautiful day for us not having hot water or heat. At least it's summertime, it's warm out, it's not raining. There were moose this morning on our property. Could be a lot worse. <laughs> Joel's already snacking. Everybody's having a good time. These guys trenched so much of the line yesterday. They have probably 10 or 12 feet to go before they get to the end of the trench they're supposed to dig, except for this little bridge right at the foot of the propane tank. That's the only spot we're gonna wait to dig up because we're starting to notice a lot of loose soil and we really don't want that propane tank to fall into the trench or just slide and hurt somebody or something at all. But I'm very confident that they're gonna finish trenching this line today. Um, the only problem is then we need to re-slope the trench, replace the pipe, put down a bed of gravel, and then fill it back up and compact it. 
There's no gravel. There's a gravel shortage now. So I have no idea when we're going to get gravel. And I'm assuming at some point we will have to go get some pipe. And I have no idea what type of stock situation the pipe is in. At least they'll finish digging the trench today and we can start actually making some repairs. What are you on today? Um, moving wood again. Moving wood again. So all of these were on top of this. And he just wants me to move this whole pile. We are anticipating that the crane truck will be here next week and needs to be able to reach this propane tank. Joel and I have moved these, this stack of sheets probably five times already. But you know, building character, building muscle. Joel's having a great time. I already ate all my snacks for the day. You already ate all your snacks? All my snacks. Oh man. You know, it is Friday and you haven't worked here long enough to know, but Friday is typically Five Guy Friday. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> Also about our little deal, my phone's in the car. Oh! So I'm Joel said that he would leave his phone in the car for an entire day and not check it even once if we gave him lunch, which for us is definitely a, a bargain we can hold up. You guys have been super helpful in the comments and we actually really appreciate all of your insight and perspective. Someone actually commented that we should forget this trench, it's too high consequence, and dig a new trench and just lay new pipe. And that would work except there's like pretty much no other place to dig a trench because of how sloped our land is, the distance from the house to the um, septic tank, and this like little narrow walkway is basically our only option. So that would have been nice. I just don't think it would have worked. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just walked back over here to them saying to each other, wait, did I just break that pipe? There's a bunch of water now. It's just one of those days. <laughs> All right, I think those guys have it under control. I'm gonna leave them to their own devices, run to Home Depot, grab the couple fittings that we still need so that we can get hot water in this house, and uh, we'll see how much they've got done by the time I get back. What's the vibe here? What's the vibe? Yeah. Utter disaster. I can feel that. Why? That sucks. What happened? Oh, uh, just like the walls of the trench are sloughing in, so I had to like come over here and take this wall down. As soon as you get under the stairs, the sewer pipe is underneath the other two pieces of conduit, and there's just like a lot of hand digging that's having to take place, and it's really, really hard digging. Really. I also uh, got you guys something that I hope will make you feel. Hope will make you feel better. I guess it's Five Guys. Hey! Ah, Five Guys Friday. Also, did you know that Five Guys has an option for bacon as an add-in in their milkshakes? No. Who does sounds... that? <laughs> Isn't that weird? Nobody I know. Yeah. We're having a lot of fun here. Oh, I severed the sewer line too, so you can't use any water. Can we flush? Probably not. <sighs> Throw it up. <laughs> and he got on his phone, so I figured it was Oh, okay. please. You cannot use that as an excuse. <laughs> she said she was going to give you lunch if you didn't get on your phone. All day. One day. He had to leave it in the car the entire day. He failed. He failed. <laughs> it's okay. It's Friday, and everybody else was on their phones having a little lunch break. How was it? It was really good. Good. Thank you. It's the only good thing that's happened all day. I'm sorry. I broke the gas line again. A third time? No, a second time. Oh, okay. I was like, why didn't you tell me to get three couplings? 
probably let's, should have got like five. Let's fix that first, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to try and do that right now just oh. to see if we can... Just to see if we'll even have hot water for the next month. And that was thunder. Yay! <laughs> There is something really rewarding in fixing our own mistakes and being able to problem solve and, and finish the job ourselves. I think we're kind of in the crux of the issue right now where it's hard to see clearly how this will end in a positive way just because there's a lot that has gone wrong so far. But uh, we've been in situations like this before. It's always turned out okay. And at the end, we'll be really glad that we've done this. Terry and has driven the Mini X back behind the propane tank, which has not slid or moved. I'm really hoping that we don't end up having to move the propane tank. Um, and I think he's gonna try to finish trenching out this area right here. So we'll see how this goes. If it rains, this whole side's gonna slough into the hole. It's already trying to fall in. Brandon on a very late Friday afternoon and are committed to fixing the problem tonight um, even though it's late the Sun is still up but like it's late afternoon um, and Joel's long gone hopefully they can wrap this up quickly guys are working so hard to get this figured out so that we have a working sewer system we can flush the toilet um, and we have hot water it's definitely been a long day a stressful day a lot of learning being done today but that's how you grow right those boots were made for working probably only one day that these boots will ever see legit poop and sewage and that was the first day i put them on <laughs> That's how you know they're work boots. <laughs> I'm grateful. These guys are my heroes. They figured it all out. They reconnected the propane line. Trent turned on the water heater. It's all working and heating up a nice hot shower for him as we speak. Um, the sewer line has been fixed and at least fixed for now. Obviously there's more to do, but we can flush the toilet. We have a working house again, and we're all just gonna take a breather, revisit this on Monday. And uh, until then, I think these guys have earned a beer. You and I were married Tuesday morning. 
sun high in the sky and I felt free You did your best and I ignored the warnings and Fair enough, I guess I didn't want to see I wanted an adventure I wanted... All right. Trying to look for the silver lining here. There it is. Trying to, uh, trying to keep it positive. Our whole everything is a disaster right now. So we did get the propane connected, so we have hot water. I did get the sewer line back into the septic tank, so at least like some water might be leaking out here and there, but most of the stuff is going into the septic tank. But I had to disassemble the rock wall. We have... Are you having fun over here? We're listening to you. Yeah, I can hear you. Hi. <laughs> okay. Things are just crazy, but I am honestly just really, really happy that I can take a hot shower. Yeah. Things can wait until Monday. You need it. I'm, I'm discouraged. <laughs> and even though Leo's having a great time, I'm trying to relax. And just I'm gonna feed Leo some dinner. I'm gonna feed Trent some dinner. We're all gonna take hot showers and a hot bath, and uh, we're gonna learn from it. We're gonna we're gonna move on. Yeah. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed coming along on this adventure, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks, guys. We love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.